Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is, do you know your shepherd? And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 23 and verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Today's episode has been ringing in my head all weekend. I'm certain someone needs to be reminded of this, this early in the year. Psalm 23 is a very popular scripture, even amongst people who are not believers. It opens up with a profound statement. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That verse consists of two phrases. The Lord is my shepherd and then I shall not want. The second phrase is contingent upon the first. If you will lay claim to the I shall not want part, you must ensure first that the Lord is indeed your shepherd. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 10 and verse 27 that God's sheep hear his voice and follow him. Question, is the Lord your shepherd? Do you hear his voice? Do you know his voice? Are you sure that the voice you claim to know is the voice of the shepherd? It is vital that we get this right early on this year. After you have ascertained that you hear the voice, the next question is, do you obey the voice that you hear? Remember that the scripture from the book of John says that we not only hear the shepherd's voice, but we also follow him. If the Lord is your shepherd, he will lead and you will follow his leading. You cannot do the things that you want to do and claim the Lord as your shepherd. He can only be your shepherd when you follow his lead, whether convenient or not. The Amplified Version of Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd to feed, to guide, and to shield me. I shall not want. Your provision, your protection, your accuracy in life all depends on your following the shepherd. A lot of people and churches will be proceeding on different fasts in the coming days. Honestly, I think this should be one of our most earnest prayers. The grace to hear the Lord and obey him. The grace to be a sheep. Because in this year, more than ever before, the quality of our lives as believers will be proportionate to the quality of our listening, following and obeying the Father. If the Lord will be your shepherd, you will not want. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word this morning. Again, Lord, we thank you for bringing us and allowing us to see a new year. We pray for grace to hear, follow and obey you in the name of Jesus. More than, more than ever before this year, may our testimony be that the Lord is our shepherd. Therefore, we lack nothing. Receive all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.